Hey everyone, Jeff here. As you know here at The Bridge, we use Planning Center services for all of our scheduling, resources, and anything to do with our Sunday morning services or events for that matter. There's a couple things that we need to keep in mind when we work with Planning Center Online. So in this video, I'm gonna to bring to you the ABCs of PCO. Let's get into it. So when we think of A, we think of admin. Admin is just setting up your profile. So here within Planning Center Online on our main plans page, you see every plan for every Sunday coming up. And if you go top right, you'll see your profile. Click on your profile and then my profile. And here's when you can put in uh, a photo. You can add your phone number, your email. All of these things should already be, be in here if you have a profile. But we do love it when you have a photo in there so that when Pastor Darius, myself, or anybody doing scheduling is going through lists of names, we're not just seeing empty avatars, we're seeing beautiful smiling faces. Set up your profile here however you want and you're all set. The second thing when it comes to admin and profile setup is actually through our app. So if you're logged on to our Church Center app, which we all should be because we're in our group chats, you can actually go through your profile and through your settings into notifications and make our Church Center app your one-stop shop for all things services. So any requests that come your way, you get notified to your phone and you're one click away from accepting or declining. Any emails that come through Planning Center Online will again come through your app. If you do prefer managing everything through your emails, don't worry about this step, but I myself have our Church Center app linked so that all notifications through Planning Center Online go straight to my app for easy access and easy response. So administration, let's work on your profile within Planning Center Online and let's link your profile through your app. B, block out dates. In order for Pastor Darius, myself, or anybody to schedule, Block out dates is crucial so we know that you can serve on any date that we request as long as your blockouts have been done previous to the scheduling date. So as we go back into Planning Center Online and click on My Schedule, you can see any dates that you are currently confirmed to serve or any pending dates. We're going to get to that in just a second, but right above that is block out dates. If you know that there's a day that you cannot serve, just click that one day. Maybe it's a March 17th, click it. You can give a reason if you'd like and then save one block out. That will block out Sunday, March 17th from allowing us to schedule you to serve that date. If you know you're gone for a week, let's say you're away from March break, block out dates. You're gonna click and you're gonna hold and drag. That's gonna block out every single day that you're away and lets us know that you are unable to serve. Blocking out dates that you know your family is gonna be away or that you can't serve is crucial in the scheduling process. If we're scheduling out two months in advance and we find that there's no block out dates and we go and we put in, think of it, 50 to 80 names through a two month span and then all of a sudden we get upwards of 25 declines because people can't serve, Many of those could have been mitigated if we had put our block out dates so we would know not to schedule you guys. So A, administration. Set up your profile and planning center online. Link your profile to your app so that all notifications can get to you right away. B, block out dates. This allows us to schedule with confidence. And C, confirmations. When we send out a schedule, your name appears in your position with a yellow question mark. That means we've sent our scheduling request, but you have yet to confirm or decline. So this is gonna be through our emails or through our app. Let's check our emails. Once we see a service request email, we can scroll on down, see the service and times, and we can accept or decline. Let's go ahead and accept. Now, since I have my church center as taking all requests so that I can answer them, it opens up my church center profile. And here I can click accept or decline. Let's click accept. And let's go back to that service and check my status. As you can see, I am now a green check mark, notifying the team that I am confirmed to serve. However, if I needed to decline that date, I go to the email, I click decline. I decline the date. And let's check out my status now. 
I now have a red X and my name is crossed out and a needed position arises. So this quickly notifies Pastor Darius or myself that a position still needs to be filled for any given Sunday. And we also receive an email that a decline has been made. So by doing A, administration, setting up our profile, we know that our profile, our phone number, our email, and our profile picture are accurate and ready for requests. B, block out dates. We know that we've taken our family vacation or anything that we need and put in our block out dates so we cannot serve for specific dates. And C, we have confirmed whether we have accepted or declined any requested dates for any Sundays so that we know that our schedule is intact and ready to go. I know these ABCs of PCO will serve you well and will serve us well as we track with all of our many volunteers across all areas of service for Bridge Worship.